Mad Wizardry with David Rangel! This episode of Scam School brought to you by Lumosity. Welcome to the show that fell tragically into a vat of beer and never left. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy folks, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and we are joined again by Mr. David Rangel. You know I love me some David Rangel, and he's gonna teach us another card trick so you can melt minds. Let's drink beer. OMG, my beautiful people, we have Matt, and of course David, and... Gina, oh, this is me shaking, there you go, and Kelly, good Kelly. to see you. Here's the question, how do you guys feel about amazing simple tricks that are so easy to do and make other people weep with frustration when you blow their brains out? They kind of made me excited. Well then, by all means, let's learn one. Courtesy of David, go for it, David, Mr. Rangel. All right, so let's see, we're gonna do a uh, sign prediction. Does anybody have a, something I can write on? Like, like the pen that's in your hand? Well, I mean, you know what, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use this, sorry. <laughs> I'll use a card. I'll use a card. Fine. Here, I'm gonna write down. You got uh, hands. Prediction. He's got it. Yeah. All right, so I have a signed prediction. I want you to hold this little hat oh, in there wow. right here. Hold we're on, just gonna dump this. this. Put on the hat. Put on the hat. In there. Right there? Put it so on. we're gonna hold it. And then what I want you to do is, uh, so we have a lot to choose from here. Go ahead and cut about half. About, yeah, right there. That's good. That's good. All right, so uh, just go ahead and take that card you cut to. Oh, did, 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 did. All right, now hold on. You didn't do any counting. You didn't do any, you're like, well, that's not the card we'll use. Like, that's the actual card you cut to, right? Yeah. All right, fine. Dump it in the hat. All right, so now we have two predictions in the hat, just like this. I signed one. Can I grab one? Yeah, absolutely. What, what, what do you want? Which one do you want? Both of them. Put them both face down if you can. Excellent. So let's see. Uh, it, it, it. Oh, no, I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll just grab these for you like this and I'm gonna take a look. I'll put them right here. So, uh, okay, so the one that you picked, two of clubs. So far, this is the face of not impressed. And the one that I signed, two of clubs. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. All right, seriously, on a scale of like one to not possible by human hands, how difficult is this to do? It's very easy. It's very easy. So, so it's the opposite of difficult. It's the opposite it's of so difficult. It's so zero on yeah. that scale. It's based on an old routine that I try All to right, make. Well, look, I want to know how, but first we've got to thank our sponsors. Hey, man, you ready to improve your brain performance and lead a better life? If you said no, then ha, you fail. But if you said yes, you're ready to go visit our friends over at Lumosity.com. Look, man, any brain can be made better, and Lumosity.com is like a personal trainer for your brain. You go through these games based on actual neuroscience, and you get feedback to show your progress with statistics and graphics. It's amazing. And the best part is you can start exploring it right now and help out the show by heading on over to Lumosity.com slash scam school. Dive in, make yourself smart, and then watch scam school to destroy those brain cells. All right, Rangel, spill it. All right, so I did sign a card. Yes. You did have a free selection. And that's no BS. Like, I, no BS. I know fake uh, selections or handling afterwards. There's nope. no substitution. All clean. That really was the, the card that she picked. Yeah. What's good about this trick is you can actually kind of spread through and show that it's different. Now, all I have is when I took out the card, the first thing I did was take out a card. So when I went through, what I actually did was take out a two of clubs. I placed the two of clubs. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so your prediction card, I'm using air quotes, you took the two of clubs, put it in first. Right. So you knew that one of the two cards would be the two of clubs. Right. And all I did was mime the signing. That was very convincing miming, Thank by you. the way. I totally thought you were signing. I took classes. Something. Yes. I took classes. That goes in the hat. When I had you cut in the middle, what we have here is a whole bunch of cards that have two of clubs written on them. So, how many center. cards did you write two of clubs on? I just have about 12. Just right in the middle? Just right in the middle. But I mean, I Maybe guess if, if you want it to be complete, you could... You could do the whole deck. The reason I do not do the whole deck, when you give a spread, you can be pretty fair about it. So because, so you specifically write two of clubs on the right-hand side of all of the cards. Right. So when you show the fair deck, you're able to spread them and you get good coverage. You can, get, looks like you can get pretty far. Right. It's very important they all face one way. So you want all the two clubs to be facing down. So I mean, meanwhile, 
the first card that went in was the actual card that is allegedly predicted. Yes. The second one they pick, it doesn't matter where they cut as long as it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. They end up with something that, that has two. Yeah, cut about the up. middle. Well, it's kind of like the idea of like a jump deck. You ever go to a bar and have a jump deck, and the Joker signed jack of clubs or signed jack of spades? Yeah, or, sure. Or they have an extra two of hearts, and they scratch that out, and they write down ten of clubs. So I kind of fake having something not to write with. That's kind of all fake. Like I, so you when you sat down, on? the first thing you did, you're like, good, no napkins. no napkins. I have an excuse now. I have an excuse. So how big of a deal do you need to make out of the, the I don't have anything to write down on? Not really, because it kind of flies by. When they see you're signing a card, they just think it's like, okay, it's just, it's very believable that you right. would do that. Because uh, they don't know where you're going. I'm not going to lie. Like, this is so mind-achingly simple that I kind of just want to jump right in and get one of you guys to perform it for us. <laughs> Who's, who's game? Okay, Matt, I understand you have superior skills of ledger domain. Amazing. Show me, sir. Subdefuge. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna do a sign prediction. So uh, I'm gonna okay. take the card and I'm gonna sign it. Well then, by all means, sir, proceed. All right, uh, can I have a hat? Yes. Oh, oh luckily oh, enough, somebody has a hat. a hat right here. There you go. All right. Hold it high. Hold it high up where nobody can get to it. Go. There you go. And uh, will you cut it? No, me. Right here. I'll cut the card. All right. I don't trust your tricky magician hands, sir. What? Just cut it anywhere I want? Yep. Cut it. Beep, beep. Boom. I'm going to take the card and add it to the hat. I don't trust your magician hands. You got wizard fingers. It's a disease. This is true. They didn't let her grab them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This card says two of clubs. This must be his handwritten signature on there. What is the other card? Because if it's the two of clubs, I'm gonna crap a brick. Holy crap! Best trick of all time! Huzzah! Woo! Dude, this thing is crazy simple, crazy elegant, and crazy fun, so let's give a huge thank you to Mr. David Rangel for cooking it up and sending it our way. Hit him up over at Twitter, at the David Rangel, and make sure to listen to his podcast. The 816 Podcast is freaking hilarious. It's like an underground magic industry behind the scenes free-for-all. It's snarky, so get ready for a snark attack. Speaking of snark attack, if you want to snark, why don't you snark down in the comments? I read all of that stuff. And if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at And don't forget to join us next week because we're going to talk about drinking etiquette. That's right. I've seen you people. You're brutes. Keep those pinkies up, you plebs. All right, boom. All right, Davis. Davis, sorry, from the top. Sorry, that's on me. <laughs> Three, two, 